Hey folks, I'm Aslim Law from linsfood.com and a couple of other blogs too. So today is a quick show and tell how to video. We're going to talk about one of my favorite ingredients ever, dried shrimp or udang curry in Malay and Indonesian. Dried shrimp, as the name suggests, are shrimp that have been sun dried until they have shrunk in size and their flavor and aroma has increased exponentially. They scream umami, they, they have a very strong aroma and flavor of the sea. Dried shrimp are coveted in many, many cuisines around the world. They are especially loved in East and Southeast Asian cuisine. So many Southeast Asian dishes, whether we're talking about stir fry, stews, soups, curries, so many dishes have dried shrimp in its base. This is one of the reasons why many Indonesian and Malay and even Thai vegetarian or vegetable dishes are not really vegetarian because even the most innocuous stir fry, vegetable stir fry or vegetable soup has at its base a combination of dried shrimp and shrimp paste or one or the other. So now you know. Dried shrimp come in a few different sizes. The bigger the size, the higher the grade, but that really is, isn't an indication of the quality of the shrimp, but more of how we're going to use it. Where do you buy dried shrimp from? Besides online, you'll find them in East Asian and Southeast Asian stores. More often than not, you will find them in the freezer section of these stores. They come in packets that look like this. These are the ones that I use for practically all of my recipes that call for dried shrimp. These are the really, really tiny ones. So they will look something like this. I'll give you the link in the notes to an Amazon, to Amazon where you can purchase them for yourself. There'll be affiliate links. So if you bought them from the freezer section, you store them in the freezer. If you found them in the fridge section, transfer them into an airtight container, keep them in your fridge. They last a good three, four, even six months because they're, they're, they've been air dried. So they're essentially a preserved product. Dried shrimp can be used whole or chopped up. The tiny ones will be used whole. They can be used for stuffing dumplings, rice cakes wrapped up in, in, in lotus leaves, banana leaves, and so on. Or, in my case, I love using these when making Chinese chili oil. You would have seen me doing it in a couple of shows ago with Jianji. I'll leave the link in the notes and perhaps even there. So I like to add them to chili oils, Chinese-based chili oils, because they add a little bit of flavor, a little bit of a crispy feel to the um, Chinese chili oil. The bigger dried shrimp will be chopped up before being used. And traditionally, they'd be soaked in hot water, straight off the boil is fine. Cover if you want to, that'll speed up the process. So we soak them in hot water to soften them before we chop them up, whether in a chopper or with a pestle and mortar. So when these dried shrimp have had about five minutes or 10 minutes or even 15 minutes, depending on how hot the water is, how long it takes you to prepare things, because they don't really need to soften too much. It's more a case of, of getting rid of the excess salt before using them. And yes, softening them slightly so that they'll chop, so that they'll be pounded better with a pestle and mortar. Now, having said that, I have long dispensed with a soaking method because, you know, yes, I have about, I don't know, eight pestle and mortars, but I love my chopper because I'm lazy like that. So when you're using a chopper, it's got sharp blades. You don't really need to soak your dried shrimp. They can go straight in there and chopped up coarsely, 
finely to a floss-like state, whatever the recipe calls for. And the only time I do insist on soaking the dried shrimp is if I'm using the dried shrimp without cooking. Okay, so we've, we've soaked our dried prawns, right? Or dried shrimp, rather, as they are called more commonly. So all we're going to do is to drain them. No need to rinse them, place them in a chopper, or if you're a pestle and mortar kind of person, in your pestle and mortar. And then all we're going to do, again, like I said, depending on the recipe itself, quite often in my chopper now, say, say if I'm going to be making laksa and I'm making the laksa paste from scratch because you always make laksa paste from scratch, otherwise it's not the real thing. So you place your dried shrimp in the chopper along with your onion, garlic, ginger, galanga, whatever your recipe calls for, okay? And you chop away if you want, want your spice paste fine. If you're going for a coarse dried shrimp, then we pulse it until you get to the desired state whatever your recipe calls for. So that's how we use dried shrimp in many, many recipes on Lin's food, as well as my newish blog, Singaporean and Malaysian recipes. Let's talk substitute for dried shrimp. So you won't find an exact substitute to dried shrimp. Shrimp paste makes a fairly good substitute, but it's so much stronger in flavor and aroma than your dried shrimp. So we tend to use half the amount that the recipe calls for. Now, as far as the whole fishy, umami, salty flavor is concerned, you can use fish sauce. It, it makes an acceptable substitute for dried shrimp. It is still missing that sweetness that you get from shrimp. As far as the amount goes, if you're using fish sauce as a substitute for dried shrimp, bearing in mind that it's not a perfect substitute, if your recipe calls for one tablespoon of dried shrimp, you use one tablespoon of fish sauce. Soy sauce is not a substitute for dried shrimp. It's, it's, it's just salt. There is no character to light soy sauce and you are missing a lot of the depth that dried shrimp has. Now, vegetarian substitute for dried shrimp or udang kering. If you've taken my Udemy cooking classes, you'll know that my go-to umami ingredient is essentially shiitake, shiitake mushrooms. Use about five shiitake to one tablespoon of dried shrimp. Now, one pretty good substitute for dried shrimp is the Japanese katsuobushi, dried bonito flakes, dried tuna flakes. It's bursting with that salty, sweet, umami notes. And to me, perfect substitute for dried shrimp. So dried shrimp recipes, lots and lots and lots of recipes on Lin's Food and SMR that use dried shrimp as in the paste ingredients. I'll give you the link to some recipes in the notes just so you can find your way there. I believe I have a very, very old a video here showing you how to make laksa the way my mom made it. Now that has got dried shrimp in there as well. So there you go, how to use dried shrimp in your kitchen. Look out soon in the next week or two for the simple cucumber salad that is made using dried shrimp, shallots, chilies, and not much else. Until then, you guys stay good, have a good weekend, and I shall see you soon.